from a Nouvelle Mode and I have a tutorial for you today. It's super easy, maybe five minutes, and it'll be this makeup face. I just think that a lot of people think sometimes that doing your makeup takes forever, you don't have time, you don't know how, you know, whatever the excuse is, is because I know I used to use them, oh, I don't have time. But then I realized, wait, I can put together a five minute routine, it doesn't take me a lot of time, and I have my makeup done. But I don't know about you guys, but I don't like to wear my heavy foundation every day, so this is a take on your everyday makeup that's easy and just perfect for on the go. You don't feel like you're caking on the makeup, but you feel like you have enough coverage and it gives you confidence to go conquer your day. So um, I really love it. I use it almost every day unless I feel like doing a little bit extra, but this is my go-to look. It's super easy and I just wanted to share it with you all so that you can have a go-to look also. Like I said, less than five minutes. So keep watching and I hope this works for you. Thanks. Okay, now I'm gonna get started. Like I said, super easy, super fast. Let's do this. First, I'm going to take a brush like this one that's just round and flat, easy to use. I don't have any name brands because honestly, you can buy whichever that fits in this category. Then I'm gonna take, I have big palettes, but don't be intimidated. I bought this at a makeup show, but um, all you need is just like a beige. I'm gonna use this one. And this is gonna go all over your eye. Now you're gonna take a curved brush, like this one. I have a different one, but this is Eyes, Lips, Face, and it works perfectly. And I'm gonna grab a color that's just a little bit darker, but also natural looking. Two of my top choices, oh, my makeup palette's like totally broken, so I'll try to show you is this one, which I'm gonna use today, and this one. They both look really natural. Um, you can also use like a green here, I use sometimes, or a dark one, but um, right now I'm just going natural, everyday eyes and I'm showing you super easy so just get it on your, your pointed or um, crease brush and all you're gonna do is close your eyes and place it on the brow bone into the crease so you can see this color shows up but it's not something that's too much I'm gonna take that same brush and same beige color and just go here and up on the brow. There you have it. That's the eyeshadow portion. Now eyeliner. <laughs> I've used this down to the very end, but um, I'm just gonna take a brown because it's natural. And what you're gonna do is close your eyes and just put it in your lashes. This way it doesn't have to be a perfect straight line. You're just kind of smudging it in there to fill it in. Can't you see the difference between the eyes? It's amazing how just like a little bit here brightens it up. You can put it on the bottom if you'd like. Same thing like in the eyelashes. And then the other eye. Once you're done with that, mascara. Eyes are done. Voila, so easy, right? Okay, moving on to the face. What I find that I find like so perfect for winter is just a powder. Because I don't, I mean, I don't wanna wear like a heavy foundation, so this is something that's just so perfect. This Sephora one actually comes with a little thing like this. I'm, I'm gonna use it right here for my blemishes, but then the rest of it I'm just gonna powder on with my powder brush. What's great about this product and the idea of doing something like this is you could go under your eyes and get a little more coverage. And the reason this has a black side and a white side is like 
the black side gets more coverage, the white side is lighter. Or you could use a brush like that and just powder it on. And there you go. So you have <coughs> coverage, but you're not wearing super heavy foundation, so that's good. And then I'm going to move on to blush. I'm using an eyes lip space because my Laura Mercier ran out and this one's fine. I'm just going to take a, a brush like this. This is a Mary Kay brush. Gosh, I'm like, I have a little bit of everything. Smile on your cheeks. You can also use a bronzer if you need as a, as a blush. I have a Clinique one I like. And last but not least, lips. Um, since we're just going very minimum today, I just like this Sugar Rose Tinted Lip Balm Treatment. As you can see, I'm pretty much out of it. So let's see if I can get just a little bit. It's just a little bit of color that also feels like you're wearing a chapstick. My, one of my favorites. And there you have it. This is my no makeup makeup look for winter, something that's a little more coverage, um, but super easy, super easy. I mean, it's gotta be less than five minutes, right? I'm gonna time it. But thank you for watching and have a great day.